drone fell off. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again, it's been a week. But uh, today, we are working on our door bars with swing outs. Cause I'm a big boy. So, awkward. Yeah. Awkward, very awkward, very <laughs> awkward. So, we put the seat in here to kinda see what we gotta do. That side is going to be easier because 90%, there's probably not going to be a passenger in here, but it's going to be set up for a passenger, basically for looks and for the RSU class that I'll be racing, but so I'm an awkwardly shaped dude, obviously being 280 pounds and two inches short of a perfect circle doesn't help anything. So the rules are it has to be less than six inches here, six inches or max. And where the swing out has to be is no further than eight inches. So what we're gonna be doing is working on that. And so what we're thinking here is bending out towards the door. We got plenty of clearance. I put a bar in here and I mean, it's sliver so we're gonna try to tie in right here bend out so it's further away and since I'm so awkwardly shaped it's gonna have to go between my shoulder and elbow that's the rule so it's gonna come straight out and then dip down and yeah well hopefully it works out we're gonna give her a shot might be buying more pipe Monday All right guys, so you can see we got the door bar all welded in now. So now Brad has to have these freaking swing outs on here. I tried to talk him out of it like six times, but he's just bound and determined to have them. So these are your little pieces right here. So what I did is I took this, and I held it up here, because this is where I want it. And this will, should be enough to clear the door, but we gotta notch it a little. So when it comes out, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be close. But uh, so we're gonna cut our pipe there, we're gonna drill our hole here. Then you're gonna drill this to a three-quarter hole. Then this will go in there and we'll weld that in, and that's where our pin will go through. Then we'll do the same thing down at the bottom, right here, and that'll be our hinge. Then when we cut this, we have to notch each side of it so when it opens it doesn't bind obviously. So we're gonna see how this comes out, hopefully it works, and then Brad will be happy and stop whining about his swing outs.
right, guys, Eric just finished up with the uh, swing outs here, or just swing out. We, uh, we talked about it, we decided over there, we were just gonna do just a door bar because like I said earlier in the video, 90% of the time, 95%, there's not gonna be a passenger in here. It's gonna be a few and far kind of event. So, like you saw in the video, Eric just wrapped this bad boy up. I think it looks nice. It does look nice. Um, if you're looking for the same kit, S and W. Uh, was this an S and W? Yeah, it was S and W. Okay. Yeah, Race Cars has this. You can order it right on their site. And there's other different styles too. Yep, absolutely. But for this style, I'm just letting you know. Why don't you uh, show them what we got? Okay. Like a glove. Let us know what you guys think. Um, uh, leave us a comment. Um, if you guys have any questions on how it was done, uh, feel free. Let us know. Uh, find us on Facebook too. You can hit us up on uh, their messenger too. You know, if you're having any uh, problems like getting the bar to open after you put it in, we can answer those questions for you. There was a conundrum. <laughs> we had to do a little shaving on the inside there. From that nice it's tap. A, it says that you gotta shave it a little. It's just we got a little close with the bracket, so yep. we had to shave it a little more. Yep, so we just shaved her down and now it swings beautifully all the way open as far as we want. So yeah, like and subscribe, check us out. Um, like I said, any questions, let us know, and uh, we'll catch you next week.